In this video, I want to show you how you can set up your own uh, images or banners or opt-in form before the post, after the post, or within the post. Okay, so you are writing your blog post and you can insert, uh, just before the blog post, you can insert your images or opt-in form or banners or any kind of image that you like. You can also insert, for example, uh, an advertorial just before your blog post in the middle of your blog post or at the bottom at the end of your post okay so profits team has a built-in uh, function uh, for that and I'm going to show you in this video how you can do that so you click post and create and add a new post okay I'm going to just type a uh, title here I'm going to call it blog Post, blog post at test blog post at test okay so I'm going to type some content here okay now if you go to just beneath the WordPress editor, there's a PT custom fields. Okay, PT custom fields optional. You want to click this the arrow the arrow here to toggle down the menu drop down menu. So you can post, you can enable the post top ad, which is before your content, uh, body ad in in the middle of your content, and uh, post bottom ad, which is at the end of your content. Okay. If you click here, enable post top ad. Okay, a drop down, uh, drop down options will show up, and you can choose your post top ad type. Okay, you can you can write a rich content ad, uh, which I'm which I'm going to show you in just uh, uh, in a few seconds. Okay, op in form you can include an op in form, or you can include uh, as your AdSense code or any any other ads code from. Uh, similar ad networks if you have for example maybe Bitvertiser, AdSense and other kind of similar ad uh, ads network or you can even include your own banner okay right now I'm going just I'm going to choose your own banner okay uh, and then I'm going to click the upload image I'm going to choose one of the image here okay it's uploading right and then you specify a uh, banner destination I'm going to again use my blog as an example I'm going to open this in a new window okay so this is for the post top ad just before your blog post content and then I'm going to click this one to activate the post body, post body ad and a drop down uh, will show up again okay so you choose this one whether you want to insert the rich content ad your AdSense code or your own banner Okay, so the opt-in form is only available. You can only insert the opt-in form uh, before the content, which is the post top ad or the post bottom ad. Okay, you cannot insert an opt-in form within your content. Okay, so within your content, you can choose whether you want to upload your own banner, you want to use your AdSense or other ads code, or you use your, or you create uh, an ad of your own, which is called the rich content ad. Right now, I'm just going to use rich content ad okay I'm going to colors rich content ad color scheme you can choose from one of the options here I'm going to choose like green is good title okay for example how um, free report shows you how to So it fast okay you can upload an image or e-cover URL okay let's say this is the image okay I'm uploading okay I'm just going to change the rich content at color scheme to uh, white with a uh, blue border is good okay rich content at body what do you want to include in Inside the your rich content at body, okay. This is the title. The body will say something like
So rich content and URL is the uh, the URL that you want to bring visitors to once they click on your link. Okay, I'm going to again use my own blog. Okay, you can specify uh, at link text. Okay, the anchor text. I'm just going to leave it as this one. Default. Oh, I want this to open a new window. Okay. Next, last one. I need. To, I want to enable the post bottom ad. Okay, and it also asks me if I want to show the post bottom ad on home and archive pages. I'm going to. Yes, I want to do that. I'm going to check this box. If you don't want, you simply uncheck this box. Okay. So post bottom ad type. Okay, I'm going to choose op inform. Op inform color scheme. Add green is good. You can choose from uh, uh, preset styling here. Up inform cell great free report now. Okay, perform e cover e cover image URL. I'm going to pretend this one is an e cover. Open uploading up inform text. You can change this one or use it if you want. Okay, paste the autoresponder code. I already have my autoresponder code with me, so I'm just going to paste it here. Op inform button tag text get instant access is good. Your privacy is safe is cool for me. So I just need to publish this page. Okay, let's view the post. Okay, there you go. This is the uh, post top ad. Post top ad, we have specified the banner, and this is the banner. And then your blog post is here the blog post title, blog post content. This is the uh, post body ad. We have specified it to be a rich content ad. So this one is a rich content ad where you can insert some text, insert an e-cover if you want, and then click here for more will take you to the destination URL that you have specified. Okay, and this is the post bottom ad, right? Post bottom ad, I have specified this to be op inform, color scheme, light green. There you go, first name, email address, get instant access, okay? This is the uh, banners from the sidebar, which has nothing to do with uh, the post bottom ad or the post body ad or post top ad. Okay, so it's very very easy to insert ads or banners or your own rich content ad within your post. And one more, one more thing, this is not to be confused. Also, this in uh, header here. Uh, banner here is you specify it uh, is not set up here it's set up in the header uh, your block header okay so this this header image here and this image here has nothing to do with what we have just uh, set up here what we have set up here is shown on inside your blog post okay this one this one right here this one right here and this one right here to learn how to set up your own image or banner on your sidebar and on and on your blog header please watch a separate tutorial